Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all the praises and glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Rakatha Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Give double honors to our beloved teachers of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to our sincere brothers pushing this true gospel throughout the four corners of the earth, risking their lives week in and week out to feed the lost sheep of Israel. Shalom to the 144 governing body of men. Shalom to the hopeful elect, one third of men, women, and children. All the praises is forever given to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His beloved Son, Yahweh Shai. Amen. Yahweh Shai is straight and direct and not an entertainer. Yahweh Shai, the Son of the Most High, Yahweh, is straight and direct and not an entertainer. Now, through the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahushai Basham Rekakwidash, when I was putting this video together and you know, try to find a couple of scriptures, our beloved, the elder Gabar from JMS Rebuke. The tempter too. Great Millstone, New York City, midweek camp. And when I joined in to be edified, they were talking about this is not about entertainment. There's a time and a season for everything, but serving our Heavenly Father, Yahweh Basham Yashai, is not about entertainment. It's about being straight and direct. Straight and direct to the point. All right? Let's go to Luke. Luke 2. Lord, I'm going to really bring out a couple of verses. Luke chapter 2, verse, let's start from 43 to about 52. All right? And when they had fulfilled the days, as they returned, the child Yahushai Hamashiach tarried behind in Jerusalem, and Joseph, right, which is his father, and his mother, which is Mary, knew not of it. So, as you can see there, Yahushai had biological parents, right? There's no such thing as the Immaculate Conception. When they, and when they had fulfilled the days as they returned, the child, now remember, there is, there's, there is a time, the transition, when you're a child, right? When you're a baby, then you become a child, and then you turn, you grow into a young man. There has to be a cut-off point. And it says here that the child Yahushai tarried behind in Jerusalem and Joseph, his father, and his mother, Mary, knew not of it. But they, supposing him to have been in the company, went a day's journey 
and they sought him among their kingsfolk, kingsfolk, folk, and acquaintances. And when they found him not, they turned back again to Jerusalem, seeking him. All right, because you know parents, what they like. Okay. Because at the time, you know, they thought he was still a child. But he had turned into a young man. And you know, from the age of 12, because remember, anything under, under 12, you're under the, the rule, the jurisdiction of your parents. Anything over 12, yeah, you're not under them anymore. You're bind, You're bound to the law. Okay? So, you know, as parents, even if you get to 15, 16, 17, even 20, even when I, when I was in my 30s, you know, sometimes, you know, you, not my father, but my mother, sometimes they think that you're still a young person. But as we know, you have to honor your mother and your father at all times. Okay? You have to honor your mother and father. That's in the law. And when they found him not, they turned back again to Jerusalem, seeking him. And it came to pass that after three days they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the doctors, both hearing them and asking them questions. Right? And all that heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. Right? And when they saw him, they were amazed. And his mother said unto him, Son, why hast thou thus dealt with us? Behold, thy father and I have sought thee so sorry. They were worried, which is naturally going to worry. Right? And he said unto them, How is it that ye sought me? You know, why, why, why are you looking for me? Why? Wits ye not that I must be about my father's business? Okay. He was straight and direct. Straight and direct to the point. He's about the father's business. And this is what, you know, Lord willing, you know, many are called, few are chosen. If we are called into this truth, we have to be about our father's business. And it's not about entertainment. Not about entertainment. And they understood not the saying which he spake unto them. They did not understand. But Yahushai knew what he was talking about because he was about the father's business. Because who sent him? Right? Yahweh sent him to do his work. And he went down with them and came to Nazareth and was subject unto them. But his mother kept all these saints in her heart, in her mind. Okay? And Yahweh increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with the Lord our power. And man, you see, because he was about the father's business, all right? Let's go to John 2, verse 1 to 5. And the third day, there was a marriage in Cana of Galilee. The mother of Yahushai was there, and both Yahushai was called 
and his disciples to the marriage. And when they wa wanted wine, the mother of Yahawashai saith unto him, They have no wine. But you see, the mother did not understand. It wasn't about the wine. Because hear what? Because you remember, Yahawashai spoke in parables. Okay? Yahawashai saith unto her, Woman. You see, he's direct, you know. It's his mother. But he called her woman. What have I to do with thee? <laughs> Can you imagine that? He's saying that to your mother. But the mother, she couldn't take it personal because she knew, she knew that he was about his father's business. Yahushai saith unto her, Woman, what have I to do with thee? Mine hour is not yet come. She didn't understand. Okay? In that case, what, what everything represented at the time. The time was not right. Right? His mother saith unto the servants, Whatsoever he saith unto you, do it. So she never understood. Right? And she's just telling them, the servants, just do what he says. Okay? Because if you're going to hear, you're going to hear. If you're going to forbear, you're going to forbear. But do as he says. Okay? And she didn't understand. Let's go to Proverbs 3, verse 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. And lean not unto thine, unto thine own understanding. She didn't understand what was going on. Okay? At the time, she goes, just, just, the servants, just listen to what he's saying. Even though she didn't understand, she took it to heart. All right? Everything he had done, because he's becoming a man now. He's doing the father's um, service. But what she said, she said to the servants, just do everything you have to do, what he says. <clears throat> in other words, telling them, listen, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto your understanding. Whatever the Lord is doing, Yahweh Shai is doing through his father, Yahweh Basham Yahushai, whatever is being told, whatever is being done, whatever is being commanded, do it. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and which is your mind. And at times we see things happening, right? Through the path, through our walk, serving the Hawba Shemeshai, but we don't understand. But we have to trust in the Lord. And the Lord will tell you in due season. Okay? In all thy in all thy ways, acknowledge him. Acknowledgement. Wow, I'm I'm I acknowledging that this happens, that happens. The Lord says this, the Lord says that. This was going to happen. The Lord prophesies this, right? Expect these things to happen, right? When we are Lord willing, when we are about to serve the Heavenly Father, expect, you know, to be persecuted. Expect to be. Um, all kinds of things serving the Heavenly Father. I'm going through different forms of temptation. Expect these things. It's going to be a rough road. A rough, rocky road. Uh, it's not meant to be easy. It's not about the entertainment. Okay? This is the path we have to walk because Yahweh Shai went through it. And as the, the elder, 
the JMS rebuke the tempter too. They were going into it. The brothers are going into it. Right? The things that we go through. But after a while, it gets harder and harder. But then again, it's not easy. It doesn't get easy. It's still hard. It gets harder. But you begin to understand. Yeah? As Yahushai said, the time hasn't come. Now there is a time and a season and you begin to understand why this is happening. Why? But the main thing is to hold on to it and, and fight. This is why we have to fight a good fight of faith. And then when the Lord delivers you, you give him all the praises and you go to a next stage, then you go to another stage. You keep on going to different various stages. Hundreds of different stages. Thousands of different stages. In all thy ways, acknowledge him. And this is a part of our the condition of the battle. We have to pay for our sins and our past lives, yes, because yes, of course, there's reincarnation. We have to pay for all that. That what we've done. And what the, the, the refinery, what the Lord's putting us through. But we cannot lean onto our own understanding. And tell you what, it's very grievous at times. Very grievous. But we have to trust in the Lord, our Heavenly Father. And that's a gift from, from the Lord, to trust in Him. Trust in the Proverbs 3, and that's and we're going to need this in the end times. We're in the end times now. Evil times just mean bad times. There's very bad times ahead. And we're going to need all that trust in the Lord. It's going to look so strange. It's going to feel so weird. Remember, the scripture says like never before. But we have to trust in the Heavenly Father, Lord willing. And the elect will trust. The elect will trust. And we are of the elect. Yaharatazah. We hope and pray we are of the elect. And we endure to the end. Trust in the Lord, Yahweh Bashamashai, with all thine heart, all of your mind. And the Lord tells us not to, to waver. We have to be all in. Listen, easier said than done. Easier said than done. Because every task that you go through, every refinery you go through, it's a different, it's a different um fight. So we have to put all our focus, all our mind into what we're going through, which does not feel pleasant. And it's and it even said that in the scriptures. And lean not unto thine understand own on own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct. Wow, because what Yahushai was straight and direct. The laws of the put you off the path. Right? And that, that's a part of the Lord's work too. He might put you off the path to bring you back on again. You see what the Lord does? He puts you down to bring you back up. <clears throat> he puts you down to bring you back up. So the Lord may take off the path for a little bit. To bring you back in again to say, oh, to make you what? Acknowledge. Say, okay, yes. This is of the Lord. Right? And this is where we give the, gl the glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh Basham, Yahushai. In all thy ways, acknowledge him. All of it. Like all of our mind, all of our all of thy ways, acknowledge him. And he shall direct thy path. Why is that? Because Yahushai is straight and direct and not an entertainer. It's not for fun. This is not fun and games. As Elder Apostle Gabar always say. They always say over and over, even all the apostles, all the brothers, you have to be, you have to know what you're getting involved in. Yeah? You have to know. Hope and pray that this is edifying through the spirit and the power of Yahweh.
Baasham Yahushai. Rakotha Yehawah, Baasham Yahushai, Baasham Rekakwadash, and double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, who taught us this truth. Right? May Yahawah, Baasham Yahushai, increase our faith, our wisdom, our understanding, our trust in Him. To our apostles come down to all the beloved teachers all the the, 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 the beloved sisters and the beloved the, the, the children okay all the praises is forever given to Yahweh Basham Yahushai and we pray that we remain to the end we pray Shalom